We are back at it again here with the new video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with COSM Cosmos Holdings Inc. And in today's video, we're going to break down what happened here. And we're also going to touch base on the importance of what the CEO did yesterday. And within today's volatility, it was not the only stock experiencing volatility. The overall market did as well. And our spy bot at 11 10 a.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside, pure weakness there on 42 vision, and put options went up 100% plus within minutes to an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and joining a community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So in today's video, we are going to break down what happened here. Lots of volatility. It's trying to get its strength back up here towards the second half of the day for Cosmos Holdings Inc. But before we break it all down, I want to share with you guys the home and opportunities that were mentioned over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity of the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the first home run was from our Tesla bot. Our Tesla bot sent out a bear indicator since 11:10 a.m. From that moment forward, the outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Full weakness there on 42 vision. Cross the outflows once again later on in the day and put options went up 80% plus within an hour, guys. And our second home run, we caught this one in the pre-market, ONCS. We caught this one sitting sideways. We were looking for inflows to pick up. It certainly did. That bull indicator popped up, full strength on 42 vision, and it hit a highest point of 20% plus within minutes after the bell. And then it pulled back and went for a second run when those inflows crossed back up, got that bull indicator, and hit a highest point of 30% plus, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us, and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So here we are with COSM Cosmo Holdings Inc. as it continues to fight to push itself back up over 80 cents, right? Today in the pre-market, broke above 85 and hit highs here of 88 cents. And in yesterday's video, I talked about how important 72 cents was. And above that, the next resistance was 88. And if it rejected it, it would pull itself back down and it would need to fight and get back over it to go to the next level of 95 and also $1, right? 95 cents and a dollar. Now I'm going to pull up the born bear indicators, which you can now gain access to in our inflow versus outflow. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots, as well as becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So Lots of volatility here today specifically, right? In the last several bull and bear indicators, the volatility was way back here on November 18th to the 21st. But from that moment forward, that bull indicator was pretty strong. That bear indicator way back here on November 23rd lasted for a few hours into the next day. And then that last bull indicator lasted all the way up till today. Now, here we are with a bear indicator getting canceled very quickly by another bull indicator. And the question mark is, will it be like this one right here? And this bull indicator that's popping up now going to be the next leg up to continue pushing up even higher, right? That's the question mark and we need to look at it. But we have some key data points and one of them is from the CEO himself, right? As you see it popping up here on the screen, the CEO bought shares yesterday at an average above 60 cents. And he also bought way back in October when the stock was below 20 cents. His conviction seems to be pretty high if he's buying in at these prices. And it seems to me that anything above 60 cents is strength for the bulls unless it gets below it 
And that's going to be a significant level, not just a psychological level, but also one to pay attention to because that's where his entry is. And it got close to 60 cents today as you see the charts here and it bounced right off of it at 61 cents. Now, that is going to be a key level to watch moving forward. And we're going to break down here some key levels and everything going on on multiple time frames. So here we are with Cosmos Holdings having the outflows cross the midpoint, get a bear indicator and fall from 73 cents all the way down to lows here of 60 to 61 cents. And then things slowed down and inflows picked up. And once they crossed the midpoint, it started to pick up back above 68, got that bull indicator and hit highs here of 84 cents. And it continues to reject there around that 84 to 85 cent area. I think that's going to be a pivotal resistance here to try to break into 88 and see if it can break above that key level that we talked about based off the history of the chart, right? We went all the way back to this time here, way back here on Thursday, June, or excuse me, Wednesday, June the 15th of 2022, where that bear indicator popped up. And we need to watch these levels very carefully back on that time frame of what had happened and how we're up here at these levels that the stock has not seen in months, right? So here we are. We're under a bull indicator again on the 30 minute. I'm going to be watching the 15 minute very closely. If it could stay above the midpoint as it's red right now, we want to see this get back to green and pull upwards, not cancel this bull indicator, try to break out above 85, 88 cents and see how it reacts going into the 90s, 90 cent area, and especially a dollar. A lot of people are watching that area very carefully and speculating on the possibility that it could reach there. I'm going to ask you guys to comment down below. Do you think that it could reach COSM stock above a dollar? I look forward to seeing those thoughts down below. And also how you feel about the CEO buying up here at these levels which was yesterday's levels and today's support around 60 to 62 cents. And this literally happened November 28th, as you saw there. I'm going to put it up on the screen again in yesterday's filing and date of record. Now, when you zoom out to the one hour, you could see here that we're under a bull indicator since way down here yesterday at 41 cents. Inflows crossed over in this consolidation here of around 30 cents to 40 cents. Those inflows crossed over and have continued strong today. When things pulled back, the outflows began. Now, the reason why the stock did not completely collapse down and no bear indicator pop up just yet is because the inflows are still dominating. The midpoint is way down here and it did not cross over the date that it did cross over. That's when things really pulled back. And that was that last pullback from the 60 cent area all the way down to the 20 cent area. Right. And here we are with it trying to push up to hit new highs, not a new 52 week high, which the 52 week high is $4 plus, but new high that we have not seen in months since way back in June and July, as the chart history shows it, right? So right now, we're going to be watching these inflows on the one hour, we want this bull indicator to not cancel out. And on the 30 minute, we got back up here, the 15 minute, we want to see it stay above, as we pointed out here, we do not want this to cross over because if not, it could start reflecting into the chart very, very quickly and on the 30 minute to continue pushing up as we're in inflows of 0.13 and it hit highs today of 0.16 and the highs that it hit back here on November 23rd was all the way up to 0.33. So based off the history of the chart, it has room to go higher, not guaranteed to but something to not overlook and watch very carefully. And we got a bull indicator here again. So resistance, 85 cents. Support right now is 70 cents all the way down to 61, 62 cent area. Below that is 55 cents. And again, to the upside, we want to see this get above these levels and go towards the 90 cent area and especially a dollar as a lot of people, again, are speculating, anticipating the possibility of this reaching up there or even breaking above it coming all the way down from a 52 week low of six cents that is huge guys lots of eyes on this stock huge huge short interest supposedly based off a lot of different articles a lot of different sources and there's a lot of different numbers out there not an exact one to the t but my personal opinion not financial advice 
just my perspective and opinion alone. I believe some shorts have actually went ahead and covered on this run up. But the higher it goes, the more shorts that have not actually covered can get trapped. But the higher it goes too, the riskier it gets because shorts can reappear and start trying to short at these levels. But that CEO purchase from yesterday was a pretty huge deal, especially the timing and where it was at. Yet the stock has found support around that area and it's continuing to push up higher here into today's trading day. Tomorrow will be interesting. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.